Aries, welcome to your reading. All right, it is, oh, this just flew right out. March, was it March 25th? Four of Wands is in reverse. May feel unstable. Yeah, did you hear that noise? Was Two of Coins at Nine of Cups. Something else flew out way over here, too, so Nine of Coins. I think that's obviously in reverse, too. It could be a, why are your cards falling out? It could be a love offer coming in for some of you, okay? Six of Cups. Okay, so some of you are walking away from the past. Some of you are letting something go. Could be, obviously, a relationship, a job, whatever it is, Aries. People may fight you on it, though. They may not want you to go. So you may be experiencing a little unstableness with the Four of Wands coming out in reverse and Five of Wands. Somebody in your past could be arguing with you, not wanting to see you move on or do something different. Some of you are going to be... This in reverse, you could actually be going into a relationship. It's funny because I almost feel like you want to be more independent. But it's in, it came out in reverse. But you have the Ace of Coin that came out here also. So there could be something new that you're starting a job, an idea, Ace of Coins. You could be collaborating with someone. Also, though, again, like I said, it looks like you're walking away from something. And people don't really like that with the Five of Wands. People don't want you to move on or, you know, change or whatever it is you're doing. Could be just traveling. What is this Five of Wands over here for you? The Nine of Coins. Looking back at the past. You want something better. All right. This could be a relationship that's like gotten stale or stagnant. Is this guy, you know, obviously he's looking back at the past, but his horse and his the rabbit on the card are looking forward. But I think you're looking back and you're realizing you're not happy where you're at or with who you were with or what you're doing. You want something more sexy. You want something more exciting. I mean, so you could have something a new, something new that comes in that's really like fun, exciting. It could be love. Three of Cups. Some of you could be dating someone new. You don't necessarily have to be in a relationship with them with the Four of Wands in reverse, but you are. If you are single, you could be dating somebody. Three of Cups and the Nine of Coins and now the Lovers. It doesn't have to be something long-term. Obviously, everything that shows up in the tarot is not long-term and not everybody wants long-term. So it could be, you know, a friends with benefits, a fling, a short-term something, but it looks like you're happy. Now, this could be happening to you, Aries. Someone may be breaking up with you and deciding to, like, move forward with somebody else or do something different. You are going into retrograde, isn't it, starting on April 1st? So that might be part of it. Somebody may be like kind of reviewing things. Things people could be coming back around. All right, let's go to an advice card real quick here. This one, the fates. What is? So there's definitely something here that's coming towards you. That's like could shake up your world. But under the deck it says happy, happy. So no place like home. It definitely could have something to do with your house. Behind that is okay. Look at that. See, mending's in reverse. So not wanting to fix something. This is going to the with the flow, but maybe you're tired of that. No place like home. Some of you are moving. You may go be go look at different places to live. Possibly, if you don't move, you could be um, shacking up with somebody new, moving out. And whatever, if it's work, it could be a work situation that you decide to quit. But it's meant to happen. The fates tells me it's something that's just happen happening around you. You could be creating it, but it's supposed to happen that way. But you're happy. You're making some changes here that are going to improve your life I get dramatically okay you guys are done with the arguing you're moving on from something and if it's not arguing it's just like being unhappy I get being you know bored it could also be all right anything that just just you just don't like some of you may be leading a, an earth sign this could be you, but you're over here as well. So I don't know if someone's giving you some money, if you're cashing something out. Some of you are getting out of relationships. Um, maybe your kids are grown for some. Some of that. It's, it's a defi definitely different dynamic. The Queen of Pentacles is very grounded or staying at home or boring. or um, not, the, not that Earth signs are boring. Just saying like this energy here is kind of like, now I'm going to go over here and find love. I'm going to go and explore and obviously you are the queen of wands, but it's the energy here of like looking for something. So maybe you're tired of what you do and you just find like the past to be kind of dull. You could be leaving, like I said, an earth sign. You want something new. I was just going to say things are going to get unstable for you, Aries. 
it could happen in several different ways and it definitely could happen during retrograde but I kind of get like some of you may just decide to up and leave something and make some crazy changes or someone could do that to you but because they're Aries I'm kind of thinking it's you because I've read for so many Aries men and women and I just know you guys are just like usually the, the go-getter the action taker and when you're done with something you're done you don't waffle and stay in your emotions you like move on something's gonna change here as I say that there's a so queen of cups under here um, lovers of queen of cups some of you date date feminines only so I can see that there so you may be leaving an earth sign going toward a water sign if you date feminine you have Taurus what is it in Pisces around you so for some of you you're Taurus cuspers and you're coming up as a queen of pentacles and some of you are uh, Pisces cuspers and you come up as a queen of cups so these all could be you but I just see you making changes here and it definitely looks like you're going to date someone new or even date a few people if you're looking to date ace of cups here again it could be something you love it does not have to be love but you could definitely be you know branching out trying something new it does look like dating wow you guys have a lot of aces too you're gonna meet a um, overly possessive I get either Pisces or Scorpio it could be cancer too but actually you're gonna find I feel like you're gonna get an overly emotional possessive water sign coming towards you the seven of wands tells me that you're like uh-uh this person wants to spend all their time with you they like to talk a lot they want to be in your energy Aries but you um, are gonna find that either you used to work with them or something like that or you or you I don't think you're gonna it's gonna last if it's a water sign for you it's not gonna last I get it's too Also have an earth sign here. You have a lot of people, so I'm not surprised. So I'm kind of feeling it could be an earth sign that left you, possibly, or you left them. Eight of Cups being underneath there. I'm going to tell you something. You got, you're going to have a lot of things coming up. I feel like this next week or so, you're going to feel very emotional because if these, um, there's obviously a lot of people involved, coming in, going out, you're moving on. It could be that you're going through a different, you know, roller coaster of emotions, probably, which isn't normal, probably feeling normal for you. Who is this earth sign? Oh, I shuffled. There's an earth sign or someone who like seems like an earth sign, something like that, that you may you know what I'm getting, you guys? A lot of people may come back during retrograde too. A lot of old relationships. People who haven't let you go. Um, people who are hanging on to you, who like your your energy, your fire energy. So just be aware people are coming back. I don't know who, if you choose any of these people, I get you have two clingy people coming towards you. I feel like you don't really want either of them, but you might be willing to give one of them a chance and you might want to just date one of them and see kind of where it goes or, you know, be with them physically and just kind of, but I don't know why I'm kind of getting like they're going to like hang on to you. So careful. Um, like, well, I guess you can just block them, but you know. One of them has you on a pedestal, Aries. One of them feels like you are everything to them. They find you. I was going to use the word magical, which is really stupid, but I'm going to say it anyways because of the stars around the lovers. If there's the way this person is looking up, it's just kind of like they just find you very attractive, beautiful, like you mean everything to them. It could be this earth sign. This person wants to talk. You're going to be talking a lot about love yeah moving on the butterfly things are gonna get lighter some of you are getting out of an old relationship because you want to date you want to be free you don't want to be tied down taking a chance and I kind of feel like that this earth sign maybe someone you might take a chance with might just kind of see where it goes Paradise, happiness, you may have a lot of fun together. Some of you um, maybe are going on a, on a vacation or planning vacation, something, I don't know, like, I'm seeing like you could go somewhere where there's gambling, a cruise, you go to Laughlin, you could, um, well, there's a lot of places coming to mind, but this may not be right now, but I do get like some of you quitting a job, taking time off, going on vacation, doing some fun things. Walking away. Yeah, some of you are unhappy with your work. You don't like what you do. 
it may pay well but you don't like it or maybe it doesn't pay well whatever the reason is you need to look inside also what makes you happy and what doesn't some of you guys are going to turn your world upside down or it's Honestly, I don't think it's going to get turned upside down, so don't worry. I think you are going to be, like, looking at every aspect of what you like and don't like. Okay. What is Aries' message for money? Let me do a quick money card here. Possibilities, yeah. There are many potential paths to explore now. Opening, change, and begin. This is your whole reading. I'm seeing this throughout your whole reading that you are deciding to do something different. I get like you are creating the chaos. No one else is. You're either going to be the one to leave relationships, to leave jobs, to make changes if you want to. Because I get like you're reflecting on things and you're not happy. But also retrograde is going to bring things back towards you that you may want to look, take another look at. But I get for you, Aries, you'll know yes or no right away. You guys aren't assigned to mess with. It's kind of what I get. Like you know what you usually want and you... Don't hold back. What you commit to brings fortune and fame, influence, triumph, and charm. So again, some of you, that's something that may be important to you. You may want to be famous. You may want to make a lot of money. I believe it's possible. Some of you, it's time to create a business or something on your own. It is going to make a lot of money. And you have lead the pack. Yep, use your leadership skills to create your empire. Boss, owner, and top dog. That's exactly what I'm seeing for some of you. So that's more on the money side, definitely. And again, you may end up partnering with someone, but not really getting involved deep is also what I'm getting. Like, you're going to stay loose. You don't want to be tied down by anyone. You don't want contracts to hold you back. You don't want to have to share your fortune. But if there is someone to collaborate with, you will, like, you will see what it says. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you will see what they have to say. What is your advice? What is your closing advice? Some of these, a lot of these are upside down, which is fine, but I just want to see the main. Two cups. So there is something here about partnership, love, coming together with someone. Under the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. It's interesting. Page of Swords is in reverse. So to me, that's like no more spying. Not that you can spy, but no more like sitting around thinking about it, looking at someone. Do it. What's coming in? Three of Wands is the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. And what's left behind by this other deck, which I left behind, is two of cups and a chariot. So somebody viewing, you definitely have love coming towards you. You have options and choices. It looks like to me in the tarot you knew both people. I saw definitely a king of cups and a king of coins. But it could be someone else altogether because I do see you again, like I said, moving on with a boat, moving forward and being very happy. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.